Hey guys, Mr. Rosa here. When plotting one variable inequalities, how do you know whether to use an open circle or a closed circle at your critical values? Well, we'll take a look at that in this short tutorial. Okay, in this lesson, we will graph one variable inequalities, and we will specifically pay attention to the critical values and whether or not we use an open circle or a closed circle. All right, the rule is very simple. Uh, if the inequality sign is a less than or greater than sign, you use an open circle. If it's a less than or equal to sign, keyword or equal to, or greater than or equal to sign, well, then you use a closed circle. For example, let's look at the inequality A is greater than or, or equal to 6. Well, right off the bat, I know I'll be, we're in this situation. I will be using a closed circle, but let's explain that. The first thing I like to do is identify the critical value, and the critical value is going to be the number uh, within the inequality. So identifying six, I'm gonna go ahead and put a circle around it. The question, of course, would be, is this gonna, are we gonna leave it open or are we gonna fill it in? Well, let's take a look at what happens when we plug in the critical value for A. We wanna know, is this true or not? Is six greater than or equal to six? And of course, it is equal to. And so therefore we can say, this is a point, okay? This is a solution to our inequality. And we like to plot a point every time we have a solution. For example, let's try another value. Let's, let's test seven. Is seven greater than or equal to six? Yes, it is. So we would plot a point on that solution. Eight clearly works. Eight is greater than six or equal to six. Seven and a half, solution. Six and a half, solution, 6.2. 6.1, 6.7, um, 9. And what happens is, obviously, every single one of these points um, is going to be a solution to this inequality. And when you plot enough of these points, they all clump together and eventually look like a, one solid line. And that's why when we, when we graph inequalities, we really care about what's happening at the critical value. And then we shade the direction where all solutions are true. And in this case, it's everything greater than six or to the right of six. And so we, we bold the line to the right, we put an arrowhead signifying that this will go indefinitely to the right, meaning it's gonna capture all values greater than or equal to six, uh, and it will go on infinitely to the right. Let's test another, uh, let's try another example. T less than negative three. Well, let's identify the critical value, which is negative three. Okay, again, I know this is just a less than sign. It will be an open circle, so we can follow that rule. But again, let's, let's go ahead and try it out. Now, let's substitute in that critical value for t and see if this is true or not. Is negative three smaller than negative three? No, it's not, okay? This is not a solution. We can't, we can't fill this, this, this in. This is essentially an open hole because, because the solution is not there. Now, negative four is less than negative three. That's a solution. We would fill that in. Negative five is less than negative three. Negative three and a half is true. Negative 3.5 is, uh, sorry, negative 3.3, for example, is true. If we wanted to test negative 3.0001, that's still slightly less than negative three. So that would work, okay? So the point is here that we can actually, we can plot every single point and get infinitely close to this critical value. But once we hit that critical value, the inequality is no longer true. And so we denote that with an open hole, all right? And of course, this then is the border and everything beyond that is also not a solution. These are all gonna be greater than negative three. And so they do not make this inequality true. So to finish graphing this inequality, open circle at the critical value, we want all solutions that are less than negative three, so it's gonna be less than negative three. And we go ahead and put the arrowhead on and say this will go infinitely to the left. The third example is very simple. The critical value is 12. Is 12 less than or equal to 12? Yeah, well, it's the or equal part. And so this is a solution, closed circle. What else is less than or equal to 12? 11 is, 11 and a half is, 10 is. We know that everything 
to the left of 12 is less than or equal to 12. And so that's why we shade left of the number line. We add the arrowhead and say this will go infinitely to, to the left. This one's slightly tricky. Um, let's take a look at it. You really want to take this one in pieces. And then again, we can just, we now have two critical values. There's, there's something happening at three and there's something happening at this critical value of negative two. Now, I mean, you can look at these in pieces. You can cover up this and just say, okay, this, this part says y is greater than or equal to negative two. Clearly that's this case and we would fill it in. We could then cover this and say, we also need all values that are less than three. And that's gonna be an open circle because that's this case. And so we, let's start with this piece. We want all values that are greater than or equal to negative two. Well, I know that negative one is greater than negative two. I know that zero is greater than or equal to negative two. So we start to go this way, okay? All values to the right of negative two are gonna be greater than or equal to it. So we're satisfying this, this part of this, this inequality. However, we have to remain within this boundary at the, at the right end, okay? We have to say, we're allowed to be greater than or equal to negative two, but we must also remain less than three. So we want all these values that fall within this range of greater than or equal to negative two. However, they have to remain less than three, okay? And of course, let's look at three. Is three smaller than three? No, it's not. So at this borderline, that's why the open circle, this is as far right as we can go, non-inclusive. Okay, we cannot include three because it does not make the solution true. And then the other border of this is, so we can be less than three, but we have to remain greater than or equal to negative two. We can't be, can't be on the left side of negative two. And of course, this or equal to means it is inclusive, meaning we can, we can include this value, hence the closed circle. So in this case, there are no arrowheads because we can't go indefinitely left, can't go infinitely right. We have to stay within this range uh, to the right of negative two, including it, whilst also staying to the left or less than negative three, not including it. All right. And guys, I think that's it for this lesson. Hope this was helpful. If you do have any questions, feel free to send me an email.